Okay, so now it's time to talk pricing. This is a bit tricky to kind of give a straight answer on, so I'll keep this pretty concise. And you guys, sadly, kind of have to figure it out for yourself, so I'm sorry about that in advance. When it comes to pricing, you really have to say to yourself, what do I feel my time and effort and machine and material are worth charging for. This is obviously a little bit difficult because say somebody who does this in their spare time and has a great paying job and does this strictly for fun is obviously going to charge a lot differently than somebody who wants to try and maximize their profits per print and is trying to look at doing this as their sole source of income. Which I don't exactly recommend you guys do but you make your own life choices. I'm just putting that out there. All that aside, what I've done when it comes to pricing on my hub is I will say to myself, what do I feel is a fair market rate for not only setting up my machine, but also pulling a print off? I charge an $8 setup fee as of this time of filming, which for me covers turning the machine on and programming the parts to simplify 3D, and that's about it. On top of the setup fee is the materials cost. Now obviously this is another thing that you kind of have to figure out for yourself but I charge about four times what the filament costs to get delivered to my door and use that as my price point so that way I know that I'm not only paying for the filament but I'm also ensuring that I'm turning a decent profit while I'm at it. Obviously, some people talk about a 200% markup. I've heard people talking about five times what the filament costs. You know, honestly, there's no real right or wrong answer to this because, like I mentioned earlier, it's kind of a case of what is your time worth to you? And I'm probably going to come back to that a couple of times just because it's so hard to give a straight answer on. The other thing to keep in mind with materials pricing is obviously different size prints are going to use different amounts of material so you got to keep in mind that a small print is not going to use very much material while a large print is going to use a lot more and the prices are going to be reflected by that. I tend to rely on the setup fee to cover any costs on smaller prints and let the filament pay for itself on larger prints but obviously depending upon what you want to specialize in it goes from there. Say you've got a small printer that can do stupidly high detail prints, like let's say like an Autodesk Ember, then yes, it does make a lot more sense to do to charge more strictly based off the fact that your machine is tiny, but it is super accurate and you can justify charging that price to customers and they can justify the cost as well. So you got a bigger machine like my Ultimaker 2 here, which can do small stuff, but obviously it's good for also big things. You, get, you gotta keep that in mind, because obviously a small Marvin print is not gonna pay me anywhere near as well as a big print that fills like half the build volume, which I've done in the past and got paid pretty handsomely for. So I kinda hope that helped you guys a little bit with the pricing. Sorry that it wasn't as definitive as previous videos, but ob obviously it's something that you have to figure out for yourself and kind of go from there on. So if you guys have any suggestions for how you set the pricing for your 3D printing or just set pricing in general for making things for people, please comment below and I might do an amended video to this where I kind of touch on those points and bring up some topics that I really like, but I thought I'd kind of just give my honest opinion on it and let you guys go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this, and please, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will try and get back to you on them. And see you guys next time.